Hey guys, Ryan Gill here with Hunt Primitive, where we entertain, educate, and inspire. And on this channel, we do a lot of either primitive build or hunting videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, do please consider subscribing. So today's video is just kind of a quick little fun one. I was out deer and hog hunting, ran across a rabbit, oftentimes like we do, and being opportunistic, went ahead and uh, took the shot, collected a rabbit, because my kids absolutely love when I bring home rabbits for rabbit soup or rabbit stew. And of course, I also wanted to show you how to process a rabbit with a stone knife, because it's a lot easier than you think it is. Also, do please keep in mind that yes, this video is for educational purposes, but if you find yourself a bit squeamish, you may not want to watch this one in particular, because we will be completely processing the rabbit out and cleaning it. There's a stone point up in it, it'll kill it. That's funny, it just ran right to me again. We'll just give it a second. I got it. I'll pull them out and finish them off quick. Put them out. Of yeah, I guess it just ran a little bit high. Didn't hit it in the lungs, but it was enough that that couldn't pack that arrow around for very long. So did get a rabbit out of it. All right, there's probably some better locations to do this, but I'm gonna stand on the the back feet so I have some tension. And what I want to do is just cut the back like that with a stone knife. Remember, these rabbit hides are really, really thin, and uh, these little cottontails, they tear so easy. They're just not good for a lot, so I don't mind sacrificing the hide to have a really quick and easy skinning process, okay? So then you pretty much just peel the skin off. Anyway, that's what you're looking at for skinning a rabbit really quick. Just knocking the skin off. All right, well, hopefully you all can see it. So, a little kind of hard to, uh, it's not how I normally do it, but I'm trying to show you all. So take your stone knife, obviously, and you can just make an incision. If you want to save any of the organs, go for it, of course. The stone knife's pretty sharp. Stick that down in the ground so I don't lose it. And just pull out all the guts. And uh, got lots of gators, so they'll uh, they'll enjoy that little extra snack. So yep, pretty much just clean it out. But yeah, you can save and eat the organs too if you want. Most of them anyway, heart and liver, and even kidneys and that kind of stuff. There's not a whole lot to a rabbit heart. I mean, it's a tiny bite. If you're a survival situation, then sure, absolutely, save it, eat it. I'll end up losing that thing by the time I get it home. So, we get this all cleaned out now. We can completely disarticulate this thing if we really want to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step back and I still have the skin attached. Go. So we knock the, the head off of it. You could again boil that down, sure, if you wanted to. We're just looking for the majority of the meat, how most people are going to eat rabbits. Okay, so now if you want to disarticulate these joints off, you can certainly do that. I'll show you just how to do one. 
So you just get it started with your stone knife and then break it clean. And then trim it off. So then there you go. That would be the same. The same kind of for the front. I would say, unless you absolutely want all that little forearm meat, I would say do it up here at this joint. Again, we don't want to necessarily saw completely through all the bone with your knife. It's not going to hurt it too much. But you're just trying to cut that joint so you can get in here and trim all the sinew bits that are holding it together. Like that. But of course, yes, do be careful because these stone knives are a little sharper than you probably think. They're not, uh, it's a different kind of sharp than a steel knife, but they will st still definitely uh, lay it open. All right, last little bit of hair right there. Try not to drop this thing in the dirt. There we go. Okay, so there you got it. It's cleaned up really nice. We can uh, basically just go down here to the creek now and wash it out. It's ready to eat. All right, so of course, if uh, you're just out in the wild and you just want to make a fire, you can just roast the rabbit right on top of that, really. Or if you've got a, a clay vessel or something you want to cut it up and boil it in, that's fine too. Honestly, I'm going to take this one home and uh, cook it up nice with some vegetables and make a bit of a rabbit stew. So that's what we're going to do. All right, well, thanks for following along with our fun little adventure today. Remember, uh, the stone knives are available at huntprimitive.com. we got lots of different styles. The style used here is actually called the bison skinner, and the particular blade is the white coral blade, if you're interested in that exact one. So hopefully you learned how I like to process the rabbits that I take, and maybe you do it a little bit different. If you do, be sure to comment down in the comment section. But for now, we'll catch you on the next adventure.